In the early 1970s, the South Australian Premier Don Dunstan wore this pair of pink shorts to work and onto the steps of Parliament House. And it made the news, not just here in Adelaide, but around Australia and the world. So what was it about the South Australian Premier wearing a pair of pink shorts that caused such a fuss? And what have the shorts come to mean since then? Have you seen today's paper? Dazzling Don Dunstan has done it again. It seems he has. It goes on to say, wearing deep pink tight flannel shorts, a white t-shirt, long socks and brown shoes, South Australia's swinging premier stood out like a beacon in the grey conservative decor of Parliament House. <laughs> that he did. And on the front page of The Australian, Don Dunstan's hot pink shorts bring house down. <laughs> Some of the members seem quite shocked. One of them said, this is the most unbecoming of the office of the Premier. I think he thinks everyone ought to be dressed in like a stuffy grey suit or something. I mean, oh, for goodness sake. The girls around the office though, we love it. We think it's so brave and so very him. I also heard that it made the evening news in Sydney and Melbourne. <laughs> You'd think people had better things to do than worry about what the Premier's wearing. Oh, but apparently it's the most important story of the day. I mean, it's not like he hasn't worn shorts before in public. Hey, look what Mum just got me. When I saw that the Premier, Mr Dunstan, was wearing them, I thought, if it's okay for him, it's okay for me. Dad seems really worried and stressed. He says that the kids at school will pick on me for wearing pink. He says, he says that they'll call me names and maybe even try start a fight. I don't understand. Why would anyone do that? If I want to wear pink or red or blue or purple or any color of the rainbow, I should be able to. Why would anyone get angry at what I'm wearing? It's amazing, you know. My neighbours are still talking about it. I heard them over the fence last night. Now, they're a lovely couple, but they seem confused by it all. Apparently, one of their friend's sons saw a picture of the Premier, heard that his shorts were pink, and asked his mum to buy him some. The dad is freaking out, worried about why his son would want to wear shorts that were pink. And worried what the school students might say and do. At the time, even as someone who was known to wear unconventional clothing to work, and not just the standard suit expected of members of parliament, the wearing of these brightly coloured shorts on the steps of parliament caused a stir. Sometimes, such moments in history wane in importance over time. They have their moment, and then that moment passes. For these pink shorts though, over time, they've come to be so much more than just a pair of shorts. They're here because over time, for many in the LGBTQI community, they've come to be a symbol of diversity, of pride, and of freedom. The shorts are also a great example of an object that, of itself, might seem quite ordinary. They're just a pair of shorts after all. But the fact that they were these particular shorts, worn at this particular time, that there's a story attached to these very shorts, that matters. The story of who wore them and of the time matters. They are a symbol of change to the law that took place while Don Dudson was Premier through the 1970s. We see them and we see the changes that followed. We see them and we see community, rich in its diversity, being acknowledged. Despite changes to the law though, the sad truth is that people are still bullied for being who they are. When we see these shorts and know that they were worn by the leader of the state at a time where everyone else was wearing suits, we should remind ourselves that it's okay to be who we are, whoever that is. <laughs>